Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we are out here in Cal Kel. Cal Kel is an area outside of the city of Merida. It's a new burgeoning development that is on the outskirts on the west side of the city, right outside of the Periferico. You know, there's a lot of construction, a lot of homes, a lot of going ons out here and uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me to come out here and finally do a video and talk about the whole area and that's what we're going to be doing in today's episode so in today's episode i'm going to be driving out here and i'm going to be showing you some footage of that i'm also going to be showing you a tour of a home a typical home in the area all right like that one over there also gonna walk around the neighborhood as we usually do so it's gonna be like a three-part episode and I hope you guys are excited for this because I'm excited for this so without further ado let's get in the truck well actually let's get in my friend's uh, awesome car all right and let's take a drive through Cal Cal all right guys so as we drive to the area we're gonna be filming in I'm gonna be narrating along the way so right now, the footage that you're seeing is right before we leave Merida, right before we leave uh, El Periferico, we cross El Periferico. And, uh, you know, El Periferico is basically um, this giant highway that goes around the whole city. Um, as you guys can see there, it's, uh, we're going to go under the highway. But as soon as you cross this uh, giant highway that just basically encircles the city, on the other side is the beginning of where Cal Kel is or the whole area of cow cow so as you guys are watching on screen now we you know we're driving and we can see there's a walmart right over there okay and we're going to start seeing all kinds of things you know right over there to the left is a giant hardware store um like i said the walmart to the right you're going to be seeing vendors all up and down you're going to be seeing buses you're going to be seeing you know a uh, gas station you're going to be seeing a bunch of traffic now as we're driving through this area it's uh the early afternoon so you know maybe there's not as much traffic as there would be during you know rush hour during the morning or the afternoon that's a pharmacy to the right um but anyways so as you guys can see you know this is why for some people this might not be that desirable of an area to live in but for some people it is a desirable area because it is away from the city it takes a, a few minutes drive to get there as again I'm, I'm basically gonna show you as much as i can um on the drive so that auto zone to the right to the left is a giant plaza um which has all kinds of things there you know all kinds of shops restaurants um you know gas station you see more restaurants more shops more plazas you know banks um everything you can imagine okay and it's all again it's all pretty close and centralized so to a lot of people that live in these areas you don't even you don't even really need to go to Merida um, because everything is basically um, pretty close to where you are as you guys can see you know you don't even have to go into the city and uh, all the things that you want everything from the Walmart to supermarkets to gas stations to banks to everything you really want is all you know within the, the area of Cal Cal which in the, within the city of Cal Cal see we're approaching another roundabout and you can you know you're going to see all your favorites you know pizza hut kfc super aqui which is a giant uh grocery store burger king you're going to be seeing the the like a not a mall but a mall type area you're going to be seeing the movie theater you know another plaza another giant grocery store all the way in the back of the chedrawi you know so you got it all you know you, you got every single grocery store you got another plaza to the left as you guys can see there you know everything everything anything and everything, everything from starbucks to the at&t to a dairy queen to you know again um a hardware store um uh, more restaurants more stuff going on and uh as, as i was actually driving through all this you know I, it was pretty new to me as well and um, I was pretty, you know, always pleasantly surprised by seeing how much traffic, how many people are, do live out here in these areas. And uh, yeah, you know, it's pretty interesting. So, um, you know, for, for a lot of people, this is a really awesome, desirable area just simply for the fact that it is away from the beaten path. It is not necessarily in the city, um, but far enough and close enough 
to the city and to all the amenities and everything that you could want and need. You see, we've got a gas station right there. We've got some sort of university right up front. Okay, and you see all kinds of signs for more construction, more things. You got a, a ATM next to an OXO. Okay. And uh, you see people there selling things on the side of the road, you know, restaurants, food, um, you know, uh, fruits and vegetables, all kinds of things. You know, now we're starting to see some housing, uh, a beer store. So, again, I'm just narrating, you know, we're just letting you, you know, okay, we got, okay. So now, as you guys can see, a lot of these are homes, but they're also businesses. See, people, they start up businesses. There are all kinds of, all many businesses. The same ones that you were seeing earlier, but now they're coming out of people's homes. That's the beauty of uh, living in Mexico is the fact that the whole thing with the zoning laws, there's no real zoning law type thing, you know, out here. So you're going to see everything from a restaurant to a tire shop to uh, a pharmacy to a home to a hardware store to, you know, anything you can imagine is all there. You know, again, not just in the plaza like you're looking at right now where you can see a giant pharmacy, giant you know, plaza with a bunch of, you know, nicer, more professional stores, but, you know, gyms, anything you could want, uh, more stores to the left. But again, straight up out of people's homes, you're going to find these gyms. You see a giant school right here to the right. That's you see the cones, another hardware store. And uh, again, you know, people's homes, you know, now, now you're starting to see the people's homes and you're also starting to see people that have homes on this major roadway that they have. Um, some of them have businesses coming out of them. And that's like uh, another beautiful thing that I enjoy and love so much, you know, about this area. Because to me, you know, back in the day when I used to talk about these areas, that was the major killer. You know, the fact that I thought that, you know, you wouldn't have all this variety of, uh, you know, things to do. Uh, things, you know, again, everything, everything you need. You know, because I always thought, man, who would want to live all the way out here when all the things that you need are so far away? And you need a car and all this other stuff. But out here, you really don't need a car. You know, um, yeah, I mean, you could argue that you guys, yes, you do. Because, you know, you look how, just how far away things are. But a lot of people can still get by um, by just taking the bus. And there's buses that just run through this area alone. And so you can take the bus from the front of your house and take it all the way to the grocery store. Take the bus back or take an Uber or a taxi, which will be a lot cheaper and, um, you know, a lot more accessible than if you had to go all the way to the city. You can also ride your bike. They got bike lanes. Uh, all the roads are nice. You know, they're, you know, obviously you guys can see um, when I drive throughout the city of Merida, most of the roads right now are a mess. Yeah, they're trying to make the roads a lot better and fix them up, but that is a major problem. But again, out here, all the roads are very, you know, they're, they're, they're paved not that long ago and yeah you know there's already wear and tear on some of these roads but for the most part most of the roads in all of these areas are in way better shape than anything you're going to find within the city simply because again the roads out here have been paved not that long ago and um, again as you guys can see you know i don't really got to say much but there's businesses everywhere and as we go deeper into cal cal you're really starting to see that it's its own. It's really its own city, its own municipality, its own area, its own everything. Okay, and uh, definitely separate from the city of Merida. You know, really, you if you you live in Calcal, um, you might not ever need to go to Merida for anything at all. Look, there's even the gas right there, so you know you can get your gas tanks filled up very quickly and easily because it's not that far away from uh, from your home. Now, you know, pardon me if I am running a, a little low on things to say as we're driving around here. I am also enjoying the scenery since uh, a lot of this is a little new to me um, since I don't come out here as much as, uh, as I would like to since I, I live in the city. I live closer to the center of the city than anything else. But as you guys can see, you know, all around you, there's, uh, you know, so much more um, area to be developed and being built and you're seeing constant signs all over the place that are showing you um you know that they are building that they are going to be building you know whether the building is coming from the city you know meaning hey we're going to be improving the roads building more roads building you know power you know electricity all the way out here um as you guys can see it's very well lit you can see power lines and power you know all up and down these roads um everything from you know all the infrastructure you're going to need everything from you know power water 
um, you know, uh, cell phone service, uh, you know, uh, internet service, all that stuff is being built out here. So it makes it a lot easier for people to come out here and want to, you know, all of a sudden, uh, you know, live in these areas because all the infrastructure is there. And um, that's not going to be lacking or they're not going to be worried about, uh, you know, having under the, any of the infrastructure. So, you know, right now we're, we're driving still deep. You know, we're going way out, you know, all the way to as far as we can get to uh, on the other end of Cal Cal. OK, I think I'm pretty sure, you know, we're going to just take a quick little drive into one of these little neighborhoods so you can get, get an idea of what they might look like. Again, we're going to be walking around these neighborhoods later on in the episode. OK. So you guys can get an even better view of what uh, things look like. But again, you see some homes are cookie cutter. Um, some are very, you know, colored and different. Every one of the homes has, uh, you know, again, the uh, the customization ability or where you can do whatever you want to it. You know, um, so a lot of the homes that might still look the same is because, again, they're still very new. The people just recently moved in there, haven't had too much of a giant chance to really uh, make it their own yet. But you're seeing that they have, you know, one story, single family homes, you know, or single room homes or, you know, and then they got the bigger, bigger homes that have, you know, multiple rooms. And, you know, all these neighborhoods are all very different and unique and they're all right next to each other, which is what, again, another reason that makes Mexico so great. And a lot of these neighborhoods, believe it or not, you know, they might be a, like a newer thing to this area of Mexico. But, you know, when you kind of know what the other parts of Mexico look like, you know, it, it looks kind of like this as well. So, all right, now we're in another part. You know, we were driving around because I wanted to get as much footage as possible so I can show you guys as much as possible. So now we are in another part of Cal Cal. And, uh, you know, where you're going to see, you know, all kinds of buildings, you know, all kinds of sizes of homes. And, uh, you know, you ideally, you know, if you buy in early enough and in some of these areas uh, where there's still empty lots, you can buy a few lots, like two, three lots put together and make them a giant building or a house or whatever. Again, look to the left, you know, you have a giant park in this area at night, every single night, every single night, this whole area is alive and there's tons of vendors selling all kinds of things and all kinds of, uh, you know, not just food, but like flea market type stuff and all kinds of vendors. Plus there's all kinds of stores and other vendors and so many things. So basically every single night of the week, this, this whole area there that we just passed, you know, gets alive, you know, just turns alive and it becomes into this giant, uh, you know, um, you know, area for people to gather and uh, and uh, have fun and and get everything they need. You know, they can go out and be like, all right, I got to go to the pharmacy. I might as well pick up a few tacos and uh, and pick up uh, a gallon of bleach so I can do laundry later. You know, Bruh. and it's all within like a five to ten minute walk, you know, from from the house. You know, uh, so so look at everything that's available. And then this is another area, another section of Cal Cal, um, another neighborhood. Um, that you're going to see, you know, again, the now it's, you know, again, some of the homes are bigger. Some of the homes are, you know, um, you know, again, different sizes, different architectures, different constructions. Um, you're seeing, you know, that they have everything from the OXO to, I think that's like a restaurant supply store. You're going to be seeing right in front of you there. Um, you know, again, all the infrastructure is being built. Look at all the trees. So it's very green, you know, for a lot of people that are also worried about those things. You know, it's a, we're living in the jungle. Don't forget that as well. So the fact that it's also going to be very green is a major component to, to, you know, these areas. Because a lot of times when you are, you know, clearing all these areas out to build homes, you know, that's one thing that unfortunately gets sacrificed is the... You know, all the, what you call it, all, all the fauna, you know, everything from the trees to the animals to all this stuff. But living in a jungle, it's, uh, you can't really get rid of it. You know, you might be able to take it down, but it just grows right back really quickly. And you can, you see it everywhere. Um, I think now we're taking a drive um, in the other direction of, uh, from the direction we came in. So you're going to start seeing some things that are similar, some things that are, that we did see and some things that we didn't see. We're seeing things now from a completely different angle. So just to give you guys more perspective and a better uh, view of everything. So, you know, the reason I'm making this video and this episode is because Cal Cal is so big and the whole area is so huge that there's just so much to see. 
and I don't live out here and it's very far away from where I live and um, you know I, I thought that I was like I was thinking to myself why not make this episode you know where I'm showing you guys you know not just driving around not just showing you a typical home like all these homes because I'm sure you guys are also wondering what one of these homes look like so we're going to be showing you that as well as soon as we get to our final destination okay um and then we're also you know again i'm going to be walking around the neighborhood so that you guys can really get an idea of what it is to to you know kind of like be on the ground because you know i can say things i can talk about things but one of the you know what i like to always you know show you boots on the ground walk around or areas is so you guys can really see you know how close things are and how how things really function out here because again i know you're seeing a lot of driving and you're seeing big roads and you're seeing things that are again they might seem like they're very far away from each other but you're gonna really quickly see once i'm walking around that things are not that far away from each other and uh you know you, you gotta understand that no matter what you know you cannot have every single thing within walking distance you know but to have almost everything within walking distance is a major plus that most people and that come from the USA or other countries, you know, like Canada, whatever, you know, that is a luxury to have all of these things so close to you. And again, again, you need to have a car to live in these societies where in Mexico, you really don't need a car. A car is a luxury still. And um, sure, if you have a car, it's, it's, it's a lot more helpful. You know, you can do a lot more. You can travel a lot further and uh, get more done. But it is not a necessary evil you know what i mean it's not something that you really need you see so many people that have you know bicycles you know motorbikes um you know like the little tuk tucks or the little um what do you call those things the uh, the little moto taxis you know where you're seeing like the little um you know the people that have those little motorcycles with uh you know which call it with the, like the little uh car carriage or, or or carrying scenario in the back you know whether they're carrying people or, or things or items look that is a big chedrawi which is a big national uh, national uh um uh, sorry a big national um grocery store sorry hey, geez I've, I've been doing a lot of work today so I'm, I'm running on fumes here um but again now we're going closer to the area that we're now we're approaching at Periferico and again you're going to start seeing all the bigger 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 things you know everything from the malls to the giant grocery stores to the movie theaters look all the things on the right you're going to start seeing a bunch of things out there that are you know all the you know the banks and the the stores you know from the cell phone store to the computer store to you know anything anything you can imagine is out here okay anything again another grocery store to the left which is a super aki and i can go on and on okay now let's just get back to the neighborhood here and drive around a little bit more all right as we finish this uh drive up i think we're gonna finish this drive i think now we're gonna be finally heading to the destination okay so i know this was a long drive okay i just wanted to show you guys around a little bit more normally it does not take this long to get to the home okay um it's really more from uh you know again you're coming from the periferico you know the outskirts of merida to the home that or the area that we're going to be in it's more like a 10 minute drive maybe 15 but 10 to 15 not you know um i think we're doing like over 20 minutes here okay i don't know yeah. uh, we'll, we'll see when we we'll get to the end of it but again as you guys can see we're, we're driving around in a typical neighborhood that's a stand another stand okay so one of the stands was open and the other one was closed but both of them sell some sort of food again here you know we see a bunch of little stores and a bunch of things and a, another person selling things and um you know again uh, let's see we're gonna take a drive into this little neighborhood here yeah sorry I, I i completely forgot you know what we're we're seeing here look at these are nicer homes look at this area here okay <clears throat> nicer bigger homes as you guys can see it's pretty cool okay um, but again even though they might look the same they're not the same as, as you guys are already looking um mo most of these homes are already being made their own and uh obviously the ones that have some overgrown on them they're not habit habited but from what i was gathering because um you know the the person that's driving you know my friend that uh, is helping me you know with this whole video here um they i mean he was telling me that uh you know a lot of the homes most of the homes are already inhabited 
And that's why they keep constructing, constructing, because most of these homes are already inhabited by somebody or something or, or someone. And uh, and so because of that, you know what I mean? Again, they got to keep constructing. And so these neighborhoods are very lively and they have a lot of people living in them already, which is uh, was a surprise to me as well. Um, and uh, again, you know, the reason that you're not seeing that many people out uh, is because we're, you know, driving around on a Wednesday afternoon when everyone's working and out and about and doing their thing and remember we are in a very 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 residential area neighborhood and therefore that's why you're not going to see that many people here now if i were to come back at night as i was explaining earlier this place would be jam-packed full of people and um and especially if you you come here during the morning and you're seeing everybody leaving you know as everybody's like you know whether they're driving out of here you know to get to work you know or they're taking the bus or whatever it is that they're doing to get to their final destination of uh, for the day and coming back. But again, you see over there to the right, they're starting to build more and you see all these empty lots all over the place. So the reason I'm showing you everything is so that you guys can also see because I know there's a lot of viewers out there and there's some viewers that might be interested in buying a bunch of this empty land and making a bigger home or making uh, you know a grocery store or a business or or doing whatever you know what I mean as you guys can see you know like there, it's it's unlimited you can buy as many lots as you want and you can do whatever you want with it again the zoning laws are not like they are in in, in your part of the woods your neck of the woods and your part of the world where you know you are forced to build a home or to build a business or to build a factory or something industrial out here zoning is very limited now obviously you're not going to be able to have like very heavy industrial out here um but you know anything that comes uh, you know anything that is in the the just a simple business to simple homes you'll be able to do out here and all you got to do is just you know buy the land or buy the properties or buy the homes and you know convert it or customize it to how you see fit okay so with all that being said i think we are approaching the fine okay we're here okay so we finally made it so all right let's uh show you around the house now all right i hope you guys enjoyed uh, the drive around the neighborhood before we uh got to this beautiful home so let's uh, go on ahead and uh, take a walk and take a little bit of a tour of what a typical home would look like out here, okay? This would be a typical furnished home, all right? And uh, that's what we're going to be looking at today, all right? So that way you guys uh, can get an idea of what you can get out here. Now, as you guys can see, this is the main entrance, okay? At the end of this video, I will um, be putting a more proper tour. So if you guys want to get a better look at the house and are interested in maybe renting this particular house, then you can find all that information at the end of this video. Okay, so you see we got a TV with all the Roku stuff. This house will come with, uh, you know, all the utilities paid except for electricity. Everything is paid for except electricity plus fully furnished okay look at that got a nice mirror got a bathroom very nice very fancy okay like um they got a kitchen okay and by the way a lot of these homes you can also bring in appliances bring in things you know do a little you know customization you know uh, again all, all you have to do is talk to the landlord make sure it's okay with them what you want to do to make it more you know customizable and uh you know so you can live in it and be happy 100 percent we got everything from you know we got acs very important as you know it gets very hot out here very roomy spacious out here we have a nice backyard beautiful okay you got a pool amazing pool you know i can do a couple laps in this there's some pools that are tiny this is a pretty big pool really big pool and deep very important pretty deep nice pool nice backyard you can barbecue out here have a little party out here have fun out here okay oh what's this two stories that's right we're gonna go check out the second story okay so let's just check out a few of the things that it might have like the gas tank you know for the kitchen okay you got your neighbors all around you 
then you come out here and uh, you know in this particular house you'll have something like uh, a water heater that's a new modern water heater I have an old school water heater but this is this house has hot water throughout the house so that's a good, the good thing about the newer homes and the newer constructions you know the fact that you know you'll you'll find a few of the nicer amenities like a uh you know water heater all throughout the house and uh, and things like that so let's just take a quick walk upstairs okay so you guys can get an idea all right of what it looks like upstairs Again, for a more detailed tour, you can check out the video at the very, very, very end of this one. Hey, look who it is. It's me. Sorry about the darkness. Let me see you got a nice full bathroom here. Another beautiful room here. Look at this with windows, AC, everything you need, the bed. Big bed. This will probably be like the master bedroom, I guess. Not quite sure. You can make it your own. <laughs> and um, we got the uh, the last bedroom. So this is a two bedroom, one and a half bath. Okay, two bedroom, one and a half bath. See, beautiful. Outside. Okay, and the best part, my favorite part, the balcony. Wow. Wow. I love balconies. They're my favorite. Look at that. You get to really see what this new neighborhood, what the new construction really looks like out here. And there's so much more left. And uh, speaking of that, look at that. There's a six over there. And what do they sell at the six? Beer. So you already know what we're going to do. So now it's time to take a walk around the neighborhood. So, All right. So now for everyone's favorite part of the episode the walking and the talking so let's walk around the neighborhood so that was the home right there okay and this is just a typical neighborhood okay well, again we got the beer store a little convenience store a bunch of little stores so as you guys already know um a lot of these homes you know these are all homes but down the line as you guys are going to see some of these homes get converted into a business um back when i used to talk about these areas many years ago and i didn't know what these areas were really like before because i could never come out here i i really thought that it was just all these cookie cutter homes and uh, it was just homes and nothing else and it was just all these you know food deserts and all these other things that a lot of us you know kind of complain about when we live in our areas but it's not completely like that again it's it's very typically mexican so yeah there's a lot of uh, really good positive things about living out here the fact that hola hey, uh, hola Saludos. <laughs> so uh, there are a lot of positive things, you know, besides the friendly people and the amazing, uh, um, you know, weather and just the fact that, you know, it's, it's awesome to live out here in the, the Yucatan. But as I was saying, as these areas have been getting more and more populated throughout the years, you know, look, there's a place to get your nails done, you know. Um, and like I said, as we go along the line, you know, as we, as we walk around, you know, you're going to see more and more places that, uh, that have businesses. You know that they, that uh, they turned their home into a business, and so that's another cool thing. So the, the fact is that living out here, you get a lot of amenities. You know, so look, this guy, I think he's a, a mechanic, or he's advertising mechanic. Anyways, what I'm gonna say is that you know these areas, you know, they provide a lot more amenities um, when it comes to you know a lot of the homes, uh, the streets. You see, they're a lot bigger. Um, you know it's uh, more spacious so you get a lot of the the positives of like kind of living again you're living outside of the city you're not living in a village you're not living in a pueblo again living in a village and a pueblo okay it's very different things are a lot closer together if you guys have already seen when i've taken you guys to villages and pueblos all right now we're here now on the main street we're going to be walking down here and in through the neighborhood as uh, i show you around and walking and talking um i'm hoping you guys are liking this uh special neighbor uh, special episode where i'm giving you a, tr a triple threat of uh all the video styles i have and uh, showing you around uh, as much as i can of this wonderful amazing neighborhood this wonderful area that's right outside of merida so anyways this is like the main road i think this is 114 so you can look it up on the map and it kind of like cuts right through everything and uh 
you know, again, you can have your home or your business out here right on the main street, or you can go a little bit deeper into the neighborhood. See, we got the Oxo, the, the Oxo everybody loves and holds dear. All right. <laughs> And um, as you guys can see over there, you know, there's already homes with businesses and all this other stuff. So, but as I was saying, you know, uh, back when I first moved here four or five years ago, I, these areas, they were still under heavy construction. Not many people were living in these areas. And most of these homes, like I said, they were all the same color, same style, same, um, same everything. It was all basically cookie cutter homes, just regular homes. And, um, and I thought that that's the way it was going to be. And I was so new to the area that I thought that, oh, I would never live here. I want to live in the Mexican neighborhood where I have everything, you know, where I got the, you know, um, all the stores next to me, all the convenience of being able to walk around the neighborhood and get everything. And um, as my friends have been moving out here and as these areas have been growing and people have been telling me about these areas, well, well, guess what? You know, things have changed. And so now, you know, my friend's telling me, again, this is why I'm out here making this video because he's like, bro, you got to come out here, check out the neighborhood, check out the area and check out the home. So like out here, the, the homes are nicer. Hopefully you can see, maybe not, it's okay. But again, all this is walking distance. So look, I got the pharmacy. I got the butcher. I got the um, talaperia, which is the, the hardware store. Okay, we're going to see it all right now. Okay, right next to each other. So we got the OXO right across the street on the other side over there the pharmacy the butcher some the what they get filled the water and then the the what you might call it the home depot <laughs> the mini <laughs> and then the dono susa very famous as well you know out here you know again this is like a mini grocery store mini mart you can buy all kinds of awesome things you know people are doing their groceries okay so see the beautiful beautiful and then again out here you know we got the lavanderia so you can get your uh, you know uh, clothes wash you know you can get a you know um have them do your uh, laundry for you and then over there we got the fruteria i'm not going because of the music being so loud but over there is the basic fruteria so all the things again yeah things are bigger more spacious then they have been everything's a little bit more quieter kind of sort of um but for the most part um the difference is that like out here you know again everything's just more spread out and, and wide and and um again you get the benefits of kind of like living out in the villages but you're not in a village you're in a regular neighborhood so over there see look that's a home and then that's a bakery and then that's uh, something i don't know what that is and then over there we got like a, a pet store you know to buy pet stuff and then we got a family walking down the street and we got a home and like I said, so it's at the end of the day, it's very different to my neighborhood. But in fact, I'm looking around, I'm like, man, this neighborhood seems to have more amenities than my own immediate neighborhood as I'm walking around. So this is like a cement store, I guess, you know, a few homes, smaller homes. Um, we got a tortilleria here coming up ahead, you know, so they sell food, they sell tortillas, all that stuff. So it's a beautiful thing. So now we're gonna walk around, and then we're gonna walk all the way to the other end. I'm gonna show you some more. So yeah, this guy's selling you know honey, um, tortilleria. Oh, very friendly people. Everyone's very friendly out here. So in these areas, you know, a lot of people that are moving out here to these areas are foreigners, but not you guys. I'm talking about other Mexican foreigners, um, foreigners that are coming from all over Mexico. They're coming to live out here to these areas. So here. We have a, a tire shop. Well, see, they're getting their tires fixed. A few more homes. We got another hardware store, um, a place that makes keys. A few more homes. See, across the street, we got the OXO, the places we just came from. So all this is, again, very, very close to the home. So out down this street, we got homes, all the neighborhoods, more stores, more everything. But again, look at the wider streets like all the trees are coming back in you know all the because everything's coming back in remember they had to take down a lot of this stuff in order to build a lot of these uh homes and construction but we live in the jungle and if you know anything about the jungle things just grow back and so um everything's just growing back as you guys can see sometimes very wild um and out of control but at the end of the day it's all growing back it's really hard to kind of keep it down so you know again well that's why when i first came out here to these areas you know i was not happy 
because I saw that, you know, everything, all the jungle, everything was taken down. It was just concrete everywhere. But after years of this place being already out here, all the things that they built, everything that they've done, all of a sudden, you know, there's a Modelorama for more beer, get your beers, get your alcohols. As I was saying, as time has gone on, everything's kind of grown back. Everything's kind of gone back to, you know, to, to being the jungle again, as it always does. And so that's great. It's awesome. Anyways, out here is very safe. Um, I know it's daytime, you know, we got the sun out, but, you know, uh, I made sure to ask, you know, uh, about the lighting in these areas. And um, look at that. Okay, so, you know, some abandoned homes, you know, they got a bunch of equipment thrown out here. You know, so again, it's a bunch of randomness still, just like any other Mexican neighborhood. Okay, so now I'm going to go on ahead and I think, I don't know, I think I'm going to stay here for a minute. Seems like there's nothing here. Nothing there. Let's cross the street. Let's cross the street. So out here, you guys can see, look how big the streets are. Look how uh, wide everything is out here. It's not the same as in my neighborhoods where the, the streets are smaller and things are easier to get around and a little safer for pedestrians when you're walking around larger distances. But again, look at all the walking around that we did and um, it's still, it's not, it hasn't even been 10 minutes. And um, we already passed by where the house is because that, where we just came from was over there and we already walked all of that over there and you saw everything that was around the house. So now let's uh, walk through here carefully. Made it. So, so now we're going to just walk around through this area here is a little bit, uh, desolate, but, um, yeah, as I was saying, you know, so there's lights, there's police, there's security, there's cameras, there's a bunch of things like that. And again, over there, so much more new construction, so much more going on over there as well. Maybe I should have stayed on that side of the road. Oh, well, we're in the side of the road, but anyways. It's been very surprising driving around this area. It's been very surprising walking around this area. We're still gonna walk around more. I'm gonna show you more, okay? I'm not ending it. But it has been very, 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 very surprising um, seeing um, so much of this uh, area out here of Cal Cal because I've never, ever, ever been out here to this extent. I've never seen it, you know, this already well taken care of, maintained and uh, and how nice it looks and how i mean i, I mean i'm not gonna lie you know i, I wouldn't uh you know i would think about living out here you know if um if, it, if it's uh the right price the right home the right area it wouldn't be a bad investment to you know to live out here buy out here all that stuff you know honestly i'm not gonna lie um because you know i've talked about this many times before in other videos see look these houses are nice as well I've talked about it in other videos before where I've said simply that, uh, you know, I don't like these areas outside of a periferico and especially more on, you know, the Calcao areas and things like that. But, uh, you know, coming out here and doing a video out here and showing you guys, you know, this area and um, exploring it together has uh, given me a lot more, um, how do I say, it's a different view on, on this area. I hope it's done the same for you, um, not just on the homes, but just in the area, I mean, that's really kind of what matters too. Remember, I talk about it a lot. You know, community, the neighborhoods, the walkability of uh, things. You know, the fact that everything has to be close. And, uh, you know, for example, the reason I would never live out here back in the day was because like, well, I, I, I need a car. If I don't have a car, how am I going to really, you know, be able to get around? But as you guys can see, I'm walking around and I'm getting everywhere I want to go. I can bike around. Obviously, it's going to be a lot quicker and easier and faster. Or I can even take the little um, motor taxis or tuk-tuks or what have you. So, and again, worst case scenario, Uber and what ha and uh, a taxi. But look, let me turn it around. Look how quickly we got to where we are. All right. And this is why I wanted to come all the way out here so I can show you guys. So here, I'm guessing there's like a bus stop or people waiting for... Uh, for uber or taxi or whatever but over there is a grocery store again it's not a major huge grocery store but it's right there walking distance 
It's a lot more convenient than what I got in my neighborhood. I got a grocery store, but I got to take the car or I got to travel or I got to get there. See, look at that. People, I guess, waiting for the bus. People selling things out here. Okay. Look at that. Nice grocery store. And, and it can go on and on. See? So we got a bus here. Let me see. I don't know if that bus is uh, going to stop here or not. It might. That bus is jam-packed full of people. As are most buses out here. So again, you can also take the bus. So, you know, this bus will take you to other parts of uh, Calcal, the north. The, everywhere around the city it'll take you inside the city i don't know where this bus is they're gonna take you or take people but you know a lot of people will get on this bus and they'll go down to el centro and they'll go down to the city or they'll go down wherever they gotta go so this is also accessible to you you can also take the bus if needed okay and it's again it's right on the main street it's right look how close it is all right so everything everything is relatively close everything is walking distance sure it's hot you're probably gonna sweat especially if you want to live out here see there's another business uh, that one's still in the construction they're, they're opening up something there and uh, now let's walk through this area here so you can see a little bit of more of the the cookie cutter type homes that i was telling you about or that i've talked about before that kind of are uh, a little bit of a deterrent to some people that move out here because some people want to live in the neighborhood that i live in in which every single house is completely different and every single everything is just very different but then there's areas like this where everything's very the same again you're gonna see as we've already shown you um there's our areas right in the same area here where a lot of these homes are all different colors different styles and um and some of them have businesses in front of them and all this other stuff but this one seems to be just a plain jane uh regular neighborhood as you guys can see and we're walking in this neighborhood by the way this is like a typical wednesday afternoon so that's why you might not see that many cars or people here because a lot of people are working see we're starting to see color we're starting to see changes and in, in a little bit of the architecture we're starting to see a little bit of a difference so it's not all the same and as you know you know the, when i showed you the home earlier that's just a style of home there are many different styles and different um types of homes out here that you can live in um they have you know smaller homes bigger homes um but a lot of these areas like i said many many years ago they were just like empty neighborhoods or they, they're just these areas that were just starting to build these things and uh I'm surprised to see what it's uh, turned into and we have so much to go and so many people are moving out to these areas as well these are a lot of uh, very highly desirable areas so there's a lot of people that are moving out here from these uh, you know moving out to these areas that um, are you know expats like you guys as well that's why I'm showing you these neighborhoods so you guys can see it's pretty nice and pretty great and pretty typically Mexican as well but um, again like a lot of the people that are moving out to these areas are actually Mexican so you know moving to an area like this you know you're gonna be in the mexican neighborhood you are gonna be living with you know the other mexicans you know th this is all very mexican it's, it's as mexican as it gets at actually and um but again it's just different look at the neighborhoods you know they're very americanized um wow i haven't seen one of those in a while <laughs> um but anyways you know, hang around those uh, back in the day in the hood remember those but see look over here's another little store it's not open at the moment but um as i was saying it's nice and windy um but as i was saying um the thing is is like you come out here and you are in a typically mexican neighborhood because again you all your neighbors are mexican and a lot of the people that are living here are people that don't want to live in an area like where i live anymore they don't want to live in in those areas that might be considered you know the hood or just you know regular neighborhoods that they all grew up in so then a lot of mexicans these days younger mexicans all kinds of mexicans they want to move out here they want to live out here they want to come out here and um they want to make this area or areas like this their home because to them moving into a brand new home with all these amenities they're moving on up and it's why move to the u.s or canada when you can have it all here 
and so on and so forth so you know that's a lot of the changes that we've talked about many times over and over again you know when we're talking about living in mexico it's it's so many layers and uh you know um you know, a lot of people still think that you know um all the prices and everything's going up and 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 uh and okay everything's going up in price and all the gentrification and all things are going on and a lot of people are getting confused thinking it's the expats but again look at this neighborhood how nice how fancy how everything and i haven't seen an expat just me i'm the only expat everybody else has been mexican as hell out here in fact more mexican i see in fact the closer i get to the city center the more likely i am to see um an expat or a gringo and um out here <clears throat> like i said the further out i go the less likely i'm gonna find a, an expat or a gringo out here again it's not to say that there aren't you know people you know expats and living out here and stuff like that in fact you're probably going to be one of them at some point you know if you want to live in these kind of neighborhoods so look these are more simpler homes more one-story type home a lot cheaper homes i'm sure than the homes right behind it and there's another thing too look how different you know these are very very nice homes and then as we go down this way you know the homes get a little bit more regular home you know smaller home this guy has turned his home over here into a mechanic shop look at that look at all the cars he has around he has a a whole mechanic shop here he's literally fixing a car as i walk by okay and again these are the freedoms that you can have out here in mexico the fact that there are no uh laws when it comes to uh um what should we call it all the laws that you are always encountering when you are living in the u.s or canada or other places where you know everything is zoned out and you know you can't have all these businesses out here because well this is a residential area and only residential and nobody can have a business and if you do it's illegal and you're gonna get in trouble and yada 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 look at that so i'm guessing these are the older homes these are some of the homes that were first built out here a while ago and then we got the newer homes again so we got the newer construction out here but again you know that by newer and older i mean I'm, I'm only talking about a few years you look over there it's already all nice and and cleaned up and these are starting to get cleaned up and nice and and things like that so every, everything everything is very nice out here i'm again i'm thoroughly impressed look at that these are some of the newer homes in fact one of these homes was the one that we were just visiting right now earlier in the show okay yeah, we are on the right street. See, we made it back. See, look, we made it to the beer. Yay. You know, a lot of people just move here just for the fact that they can buy any beer they want, any <laughs> any alcohol they want right next to their house. Let's walk down this street a little bit. But yeah, over there, that's kind of where, that's where we started the, the whole walk. We've already walked for over 20 minutes around the neighborhood and look at everything we've seen, okay? And we can keep walking and walking throughout until eternity as the jungle will eat us all up okay <laughs> so with that being said i think we have made a long enough video today um we still got more to show you as i was saying earlier if you guys enjoyed the you know um the house and you guys want to see the the tour of the house a more professional nicer looking video just check out the end of this video as soon as i'm done talking here and you can check that out in case you're interested in perhaps renting and living in this area
All right, guys, I think it's time to wrap this baby up. It's already getting so hot, the GoPro overheated and it turned off. You already know what time it is. Time to go home and finish this episode. So guys, you already know what's up. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit the bell icon. But more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye.